Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ash here coming at you today in Clash Royale. How you guys doing? Welcome to the video. This is going to be a really good one because I have very, very, very popular request. Best NA. Best. Welcome to the channel, man. How you doing? Oh, good. Thank you for having me. Uh, it took a while because like, you know, uh, the stuff at home. So yeah. No worries, brother. It's better late than never, man. I, I've been tell I've been messaging Best NA being like, dude, people, I'm getting like 20 more requests for you today, man. You're definitely the number one name I'm seeing lately, and you've been around the game for, for a while, but you've recently started a YouTube channel as well. Widely considered to be one of the one of the best expo players in the world, if not the best expo player in the world. Today, we're going to try to prove it, try to get to number one live for you guys, but tell me, man, did you expect your, uh, your YouTube channel to kind of blow up the way it has? Not really. I guess like because like one time I hit like number one in a global tournament like I went 39 and 0 I guess that's like one of the reasons why yeah so I yeah. didn't really expect it and then boom you made a video on that and it just kind of took off from there yeah yeah Awesome, man. So how long have you been playing Expo? Have you been playing like since the early days, since like beta? Or is it something that you kind of picked up uh, more recently? Well, obviously not more recently, but yeah. Share your Expo history with my viewers. I think I played for like one plus year. I'm not exactly sure, but I watch like your videos and like elementary videos, like see what they do like at the start of the game. And then like I just copy like what they do. And yeah. Yeah, man, that's really cool. So that's kind of how you learned Expo by watching like elementary back in the day. Yeah. And what would you, was there a moment where things kind of clicked for you? Because, I mean, you took the scene pretty much by storm. Uh, I don't know if it was like two years ago, but it seems like that in my head. So was there like a moment where things kind of clicked for you? If so, you know, what was the precursor to that moment? Why were, uh, you know, did something you just, did you change the way you played? I to explain it, but like, I just study, like, like at the start of the game, like they just play certain cards, but I have to like, like remember that uh, they know their deck and like based on what, deck they have like they save up certain cards and like what they play it's kind of hard to explain but yeah no i understand so it sounds like you just got better at kind of uh understanding what counters the opponent was going to be using and then how to adjust from there is that kind of a fair characteristic oh uh, yeah like using cards like you know like at the start like they cycle cards like yeah but like they know what the opponent is using so i have to take that into account like i can't just like cycle the same thing as they do like all the time you know like it depends on the matchup right now we're just watching a mirror match after this we're going to play for number one we're currently number two in the world so we're going to play for the number one spot uh but as we as we kind of watch this match here what are some things that you learned about specific matchups uh whether it just be a mirror matchup or you know against a beat down matchup like what are tips that you learned along the way that you can pass on to some of my subscribers you know about a specific matchup against golem uh, if they go like golem in the back it's better not to like go x bob's lane just to, like try to take their tower because like if they ignore it and you just go uh, if they just go like all in then you're not going to be able to defend it and you're going to lose your tower and you're not going to be able to take the tower in a one more situation so you want to like cycle a tesla early and then if they lightning you can cycle back to another one by the time like they lightning a single elixir and you should be able to defend it pretty well and yeah Okay, so after, and then after you defend, you go offensive expo again, like immediately, or do you, like when do you pick and choose your spots to actually attack? Or, or are you spell cycling? Yes, I just go expo even if they have golem, like just so like they don't golem the back, like so they don't make up a, a okay. big push and you can defend it easily and you can like out cycle from that point. Like a single, they can't get back to the golem as quick as you can get back to your expo. So you can get like a small lock there and if you get decent amount of damage, you can honestly just like defend and win from a spell cycle. Okay, okay, cool. So what other matchups are you trying to just defend spell cycle? Or are you just basically picking and choosing your spots in every matchup? It's e -giant. Um, people think that e -giant has matchup against Expo, but if you play a Tesla high, like, they can't break through. Like, if they play e -giant back, you pre-place Tesla and they lightning can get back to another one and they can't do anything about it. And you can basically just fireball cycle them. Like if they play Goblin Cage, you can fireball. Um, and yeah, you can just go skeletons after it, and they can't really punish you for doing that. And if they like go Mother Witch in the back, like in back of the Eja, you can just go Knight on top, and yeah, you can't really get punished for doing it. So, yeah. Okay, okay, that makes that makes a lot of sense. This is good advice here because E Giant is a tricky matchup for a lot of people. So you're just playing a high Tesla. Or when you say high Tesla, are you you're still in lightning range of the tower, right? Or are you just like super high? That's like a single. Um, you can play it like in the middle. You don't have to play it high, because uh, like you can go like knight archers and they're gonna like go NATO, so the archers die to the E Giant, and they're obviously gonna play like 
other cards like bomber or Ipper dragon or whatever and then like they they're not always gonna have lightning so yeah um, you can just play your tesla in the middle okay cool uh great advice what about uh lava hound mashup a strong air decks are you obviously you're leaning heavily on you know archers and tesla but like generally speaking what are you doing with your expo like how are you how are you handling those matchups from an offensive uh perspective that's like war version but like most of the time you can just go like if you split archers ready and you know you're going against lava how you can go expo uh, because most of the time they're gonna have to go balloon on it but and then like even if the balloon carrier expo you're still gonna get some damage unless like they play like a ground unit as well but after that when they go lava hound they won't have balloon and like you can defend easily like the most dangerous thing in lava hound is just balloon because it does like a lot of damage and like the other troops are pretty easy to defend and if they go lava hound first play you can go sim lane and like if they have a Inferno dragon you want to have your skeletons ice spear or archers ready because like they're gonna play a Inferno dragon on it and you can just kill it and your archer is gonna survive it's gonna help kill the lava hound and they're gonna like forced to use cards on it so they might not enough have like balloon in hand and you can defend the push easily while you have while you yeah. get damage on the tower already all right man well let's go ahead and play a live match here to get to the number one spot in the world are you ready going for number one in the world against axel so how do you approach early game are you ever going early expo or no uh it depends on matchup but this guy's i think is using goblin drill so okay. it's gonna be pretty hard because i think he counters so could be careful okay uh, let's see what he's gonna do. He's probably gonna go Valkyrie Tesla. Okay, what? Ooh. Wait, he, pro he probably doesn't have Valkyrie in hand. Yeah, he, I okay. think I started in hand to him, which is good for me. Yeah. Oh, just gonna do a log. He's gonna go Wabrigger for sure. Um, yep, perfect. Nice. And, okay, that's a log. He's gonna Whoa. go Fire Spirit, but he's not gonna do anything. And I'm just gonna go Expo right now in the middle because he doesn't have enough Elixir and Fern Tower, I believe. Uh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's GG. He just gave up. Wow. All right. Well, geez, man. <laughs> well, well played, I guess, right? So he knows that once you have that sort of advantage early on, uh, there's no way he can really come back, especially against the caliber of player that you are. Uh, walk us through what happened there, though. I mean, obviously, he didn't have Valkyrie in the cycle, but what did you see that made you just attack early on? You're running Goblin Drill because like, no other deck runs like Warbreaker and Fire Spirit, so... When he used that uh, Skarmy, I was just going to go with Expo because he just wasted 3 Elixir and I can just go Knight on the Valkyrie and go Log on the Skarmy, but I didn't realize he had Inferno Tower instead of Tesla, which is like worse against Expo if they have Inferno Tower. Yeah. And since he doesn't have Valkyrie in Psycho, um, wait, I'm, I'm going to just do ground him first. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Since he doesn't have Valkyrie first, like, um, like he had to waste 5 Elixir first, so he couldn't kill Expo, so he had to like waste more Elixir than usual. And yeah, uh, he just... Yeah. Lost from there. And then you knew the wall breakers were coming because you knew exactly what he had in hand and you stopped them with two elixir with the, uh, you know, and then he had nothing left in hand to counter or to play. So well done there. I mean, you told me off air and I'm going to put the pressure on, bro. You told me off air that you'd be down to uh, to play from the number one spot, which no one wants to do ever. Uh, you, you still want to do that? <laughs> I'm just not guaranteeing like I will win. Like <laughs> you don't have to guarantee a win, man. It's, it, don't uh, worry about it. We share the wins and the losses. We hope to learn from them here on the channel. So we are number one in the world, best NA. Uh, love how I say that we. I include myself and you. Best NA is number one in the world. Jenk Aslan, very very good player. I'm not sure what he's playing. Do you know? Thanks, RG. RG. Okay. So how do you handle RG matchups? Just gonna hold. If they RG in the back, like you want to go Xbox lane, just the pressure and get some damage but normally if you can't do that like if they don't do that you just basically spell cycle but it's really hard since he has log and it's a bar barrel yeah okay definitely uh, not the easiest matchup so let's see how best handles it i tried to talk at the same time but no yeah you can, you can just concentrate on the match i'll just kind of do a play by play if you see anything you want to point out feel free to do so yeah. oh crap ah. okay <laughs> That would be a that'd be a first time guest. <laughs> okay. okay, I think I lost already because that Dark Prince connect on my tower. That's like you how important. So? Yeah, yeah, that's how important damage is in this matchup. If you just take like any damage, like you you, you can basically lose. Okay, so the deck the deck, no pun intended, is stacked against you here. Take some damage, and like you said, spell cycle. So I imagine you win a lot of these off of a draw. The Dark Prince is in the back. Yeah, fireball. Oh, he's probably gonna fireball my tower too, so like, it's gonna be hard. Okay. Uh, 
Am I fisherman? But I don't know, I'm just gonna go to the middle. Okay. I don't think I can win this unless he goes arching back or he overcommits on okay. offense. I'm gonna go log just for trip damage. Okay. Like, I can't outcycle him because he has a pretty quick cycle deck, so. Yeah. So. so at this point, even if. Okay, well, we'll talk about the match afterwards, but Dark Prince in the back here is playing it super defensively. You go with the defensive X Pony Fireballs. I'm just gonna go off at uh, defense expo just to see what he's gonna do and maybe like okay. create an opening for me. Uh, I can't fire by his tower because like he has Mother Witch, so yeah. And he has my, I mean, he has fisherman just to pull my knight away from it, so I have to be careful. Okay. He's just fireballing and then he just keep on going log to keep up with damage, so kind of difficult right now. Yeah, you're right. You can see. Expo definitely feels like a chess match to me more than so than every any other matchup. Here we go, setting up again, and he's doing like you said the the one smart thing, just playing very passive. If I didn't like mess up that log at the start, I probably could have won. But yeah, because you're in damage. Uh, if you're doing fine damage, wise you're doing fine defensively so far. There's still time though. Let's see. Got a fireball this. You know, I'm just gonna go log. Okay, this fisherman. He defends really well. He's back to RG. Yeah, it's tough. It's still possible, but. Yeah. I need him to mess up once. <laughs> It's gonna go in, I have to be careful. Alright, so you go offensive expo, log in the left, you don't take a royal giant hit. Wait, oh, hold up. Oh, 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 you get the lock! We might have won, we might have won. Wait, you see group. Wait. I think we just won. You just won. Go lock. Wait, hold <laughs> on. Nah, I, I still haven't watched it. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna okay. go to the expo. You said it first. Best. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to be careful of this defense. Like I yeah. choke this sometimes, so I have to be careful. Okay. See. Uh, okay. Oh, so don't mess up. Um, CWA. <laughs> oh, you played that fisherman back. That's a lot of fireball value. Um. I'm just gonna go lock the other lane for the RG. Okay. I think I'm fine. That's it. The RG man. gets some hit. Yeah, that's you. The RG gets some hit, but like I still have like, more weight. Dude, more damage winning from the number one spot, no big deal, man. Now what do we do? <laughs> All right, I there's still go time. Tesla. Still, yeah. I go Tesla last second, so I knew it's gonna prediction fireball on my Tesla, so maybe it's RG getting locked, so I have to do it last second. So yeah. Well done. So you delayed. The very yeah, last second on the uh, the Tesla. Do you do that a lot? I imagine so. Yeah, it depends. Like if I know, like, like they have to do that, then they I have to do. predict. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well done, man. Well played on that match, bro. All right. So now we're even even more number one. I love how I check in to see where he is in the world, as if we don't know. We found a game on Global Tournament, guys. It didn't even take too long. What are you right now? How many wins are you at? Three. Thirty and three. Thirty and three. Okay. I thought you said three. I'm like, wait a second. That doesn't sound like a top uh, ten, man. All right, so we're 30 and three. Here we go. Global tournament, man. We're getting all kinds of top game <laughs> content here. All right. What he's going to be using, i never seen Farmer and Spirit Goblins before, so. Okay. Okay. He has Lumberjack. Huh. I don't know what this is. I feel like it's Golem Clone. Like, if it's Golem Clone, then I'm going to instantly lose because... Like, I can't deal with the bats. Like, I only have Ice Spirit, but it's kind of hard to hit all the bats at the same time, so... Okay. Would you say that's, like, is is that the all-only auto-lose matchup for you? Basically. Like, if they go going back, like, it's kind of hard to stop them. Yeah. I, I can't win this if I take this tower right now, but... Okay, it's gonna okay. be hard to say. Okay, looks like you're gonna oh. take the tower. Uh... Scary. The clone I, this is already very scary for me. Here we go. Okay. Uh, 
I don't think it's arrows back a single, so I think I'm fine for yeah, now. Fine and single, okay. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm fine. I'm gonna take some damage, but I'm just gonna go knight. Yeah, that's fine. I think if I don't lose my tower and I take his 1300 HP tower, yep. I think I should be able to win if I don't get 3 crowned. Like, he still have to commit to this tower, so... Yeah. I just don't have to get 3 crowned. Hmm. Easier said than done against Golem Clone. Yeah. So as you said, you don't really have anything for the bats of the uh, the Night Witch especially. So in double extra time, what the heck are you going to do here? What's your, what's, what's your game plan going to be? Hope for the best. Pray. <laughs> she has arrows for my archers as well. So like, I know, yeah. right? So you get yeah. left tower, but now it's just like you're probably going to give up right, but still. Okay, uh, I think I'm just going to go fireball log on the... Okay, uh, I think I'm not gonna go log. Okay, nice I think shot. I'm just gonna let it go. Like, the bats isn't gonna take my whole tower. But we just have to defend this one push. If I don't defend this one push, I'm gonna lose, but it's gonna be hard to defend. Okay, here it is. Okay, let's pray. Yeah, it's let's one defense, <laughs> and then... A, and then a fireball. Let's see if we can do it. Lumberjack's annoying. Oh boy. Ooh. Okay, fireball, easy. Yeah. Eh. I just have to stack it over fireball and yeah, uh... What? Dude. Going in the middle. He beats the impossible! Okay, I don't know why he has Spear Goblin in this deck. Maybe just to cycle this golden quicker, but... Yeah. Wow, dude. Uh, GG's, man. I would say, is that like, is it fair to say that's the most difficult matchup for you? I think from my top of my head right now, like, I can't think of any other matchup right now, so... Uh, okay, so we're 19th. Good God, man. I kind of want you to coach me one, but I also would love, love to see more best uh, on the channel here. So, I don't know how you feeling. Do you want to go for one more global tournament, or do you want to coach me? I think I should coach you, because, like, people snipe on the global tournament, so they sure, probably snipe me with, like, you know... Uh, All right. Well, are you ready? Because you're going to have your work cut out for you, man. Because yeah. here I am. I have the deck ready. I am not an Expo player. You know how, like, I feel like Expo, more so than anything else I'm in a match, is there's Expo players and then there's non-Expo players. But people don't really dabble much at Expo. Do you feel I find the same thing? Wait, what does dabble mean? Uh, just, like, try it out here and there. Like, usually Expo players, I feel like they're, you know, that's their go-to. That's almost all they play, I feel like, you know? Yeah. Uh, so this is probably pick up bridge spam. So you want to go test in the middle? Uh, okay, yeah, okay. That, nice, fine, nice, fine. Okay, so should I expo here opposite? What should I do at this point? Just go test in the middle. Okay. Just play safe. Like, yep. they're going to have to spam stuff into you, so your test is going to get a lot of value. You don't have to do anything for the front dragon. Like, it's going to kill it. We have enough elixir. Was that a mistake go, right go, there? Going expo? Yeah. Nah. Okay. Uh, just go log. Yeah. A little late there, but... Yeah, that's fine. You, you're gonna get some damage, but if you were quicker, you could have got your lock quick uh, down, yeah. and the battle would have connected, and you would have got like a lot of damage. Okay, so just being ready there with the battle yeah. ram, gotcha. Hey. All right, so, so I split archers here or uh, Tesla. Yeah, you can just go Tesla. That's fine. It's more safer, but normally I'll just cycle like skeletons or ice spear if I have it in hand. Okay. Uh, I don't think he has a big spell, so you could technically just like defense expo and just defend all game, but I don't think you want to do that because it's going to be boring. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mostly want to win best, but we yeah. will uh, kind of see what he does here. I guess I'm just going to knight. He has yes, poison. So in this situation, what should I be doing here? Should I expo? Uh, just go expo uh, when the knight gets a bit higher. Yeah, you can go now. Okay. Oh, yeah, and you always want to fire about the magic archer. Yes. Like, Oh, he's at three elixir right now. Uh, just go archers on the ice golem. You don't have to deal with the battle arm right now. But yeah, it's fine. Okay, so I think I screwed that up, but a little bit. But it's, I think it's gonna be okay. Let's get yeah. the knight down. Ah, a little late. Just went like archers on the ice golem and just Ignored went like the... skeletons. Yeah. Get on the battle arm and that's yeah. fine. And just fire about that. And you can go Tesla if you have. Yeah. Yeah, this is an easy matchup, so you should okay. be able to win. Should hopefully. I expo again? Uh, yeah, sure, if you want. Sure. <laughs> I mean, this matchup is like pretty easy, so... Trying to get to it quick. Oh man, my bad. 
but that's fine. Like yeah. you're probably gonna look good when either way, so. Okay. So just chilling. Should I be? Would you be cycling logs here? Yeah. Yeah, log is better than going night back. He's probably gonna go magic archer at the bridge on your night right now. Yeah. You can go fireball on the magic archer. Yep. Even though it's half, half HP, like you're gonna take a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah, you did have to waste the archers there. Um, okay, that was a good skeleton. I probably would have went skeletons in the poison, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Let's uh, go to the sun in the middle again. Okay. At least I have five looks. Okay, I probably shouldn't have said that. Mm -hmm. Oh, you should could just go like skeletons if you have for the yep, for uh, dragon. Uh, uh, go log on the dark pins if you could. Got that. Okay, you wasted the map, but it's fine. Okay, so expo here or no? I think you should just go to the expo where you can poison. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, <laughs> That's why I said it's fine. fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Wrong tower. Just go, just yep. go Tesla. Okay, you're gonna have to try spell cycle him, but you gotta be careful. Because, okay. like, um, you should defend the Tesla with, yep. like, a spear gotcha, or whatever. Gotcha. Yep. He can go log and dark prince. Okay. Then, uh, just go with defense expo again on the other side. Uh, oh crap. Uh, just go with defense expo on the other side. Okay, okay. And then, I think he can still poison that, I'm not sure. Uh, okay. Just go with Tesla in middle and then go log if you could. Sure, sure. Uh, just fireball uh, sour. Fireball sour, fireball sour, okay. fireball sour. Okay. Because ma his magic archer is dead already. I don't think he can win this point. I don't think I can either. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, it's gonna be spam territory here for yours truly. Fireball tower again. Uh, you, you gotta do it at this point. You have no choice. Yes, you yes, right. yes. But you gotta be careful, it's a magic archer. Like, it's kinda hard. I know. For a player, like, I'm not trying to be mean, but... <laughs> what are you gonna like, say? For a player like me? To, like, defend, like, we're about to take any magic archer shots. And, like... Wait, you might win still. No, I lose. Oh, oh, that was I so guess I could have defended there, right? Yeah, ah. that was close. Oof. All right, so it sounds like I made a lot of misplays, right? But it feels like what, what were the biggest mistakes, if you could pick those out? Just not being decisive enough on like when to expo and when to defend it? Yeah, the first expo... Uh, wait. Let me what? think first. Um, yeah, the first expo I had the bet like I should have been ready there with the log and stop the battle ram earlier. And then there was another point in the match where you were like, uh, you know, just use the archers against the ice golem. Don't use them on defense, and I used them on defense. So a few like mistakes like that. Maybe at the very end I could have tried to defend versus fireballing. I don't know. That that defense expo was bad. Probably was a mistake by your end, but uh like the time when he went like battle ram on ops lane for the Expo, you could have just went like archers on the ice golem itself because, like, the expo is probably gonna kill the battle ram, and like, you can go like skeletons up high, and then like the barbs wouldn't do much damage, so you don't really have to worry about that. So, knowing your interaction is like really important to like getting some damage with your expo as well. Yeah, it feels like it feels like what I did there was to your point is when you play, it feels like you're always going with the absolute cheapest way to defend, and sometimes I spent too much on defense there. I feel like you know the archers like that was just over commitment okay and that part kind of won you the game like at the end you were down, like down a bit and you just need to fire about the game but you start to defend the dark prince but you have no choice yeah. So, yeah okay so what do you think just as a takeaway here for people like me who aren't normal expo players like what should be front and center of your mind uh when playing expo maybe for the first time or for the first time in a while so like what do you like break down expo for noobs for us don't go expo first play unless you know what they're doing okay. uh, or un unless you're like me um, don't over defend your expo I guess because like you can always out cycle them uh, against RG I mean like against tank decks if they play like like any four licks of card in the back like or any like if you're at mid ladder if they play like four licks of card in the back like Valkyrie Mustang Tear Ewiz you can go expo off lane because most time they have like wacky decks and they're most likely gonna play like Skarmy, Mini Horde, and you could just fireball on it and you're gonna get a lot of damage. And you could just deal with like the Musketeer or e -Wiz or whatever like easily with like Skeletons and if it's like Valkyrie, you can just go with a Knight, so yeah. Okay, so any four looks for a more card in the back, we're gonna go ahead and attack with Expo opposite lane. Got it? Most of the time, they don't have like good response because like yeah. the deck isn't like 
that good it's just like random overloaded cards you so should be able to deal with it easily so the question then best is if they lead off with a four elixir card so do you make the first play then do you archers in the back like what is your ge general first play or do i want them to make the first play because they don't know i'm playing expo and i want them to you know use a four elixir card in the back like how long do you wait before making the first play <laughs> oh i just do it like when i have 10 elixir like normally i cycle uh skeletons or ice spirit because you can't get punished for one elixir and then i'll do like if they're still not doing anything then i'll go archer instead of knight because if they have sparky and i play knight in the back they're just gonna free, get free value and like this the spark is gonna take longer and they're gonna have like more elixirs to counter push so that's why you don't go knight instead of archers in the back first all right yeah all right, man. Well, hey, thank you so much for coming on the channel, man. You played amazingly. Great coach as well. We'll definitely have to get you on again. And my viewers should absolutely check out your YouTube channel. Best NA will be linked in the description below, along with your player stats and profile links to satrail.com and your Twitter information. Any other shout outs or anything like that before we let you go, man? Uh, can't really think uh, from my head, so I don't think so. All right, man. No worries. No worries. Well, thanks so much for coming on. We'd love to have you, man. Thank you for having me on. No worries, guys. That's going to do it for the video. Hope you enjoyed this interview as much as I did. Always great to get best on the channel and to have him on voice was awesome. Really went through a lot of matchups in today's video. So again, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and of course to best uh, channel as well. Uh, G Fuel, big shout out to them and Soundstripe. You can check out my discount codes in the description below. G Fuel, we have 30% off for one more day. I highly recommend. Uh, they have a new flavor. What the heck is it? It's like Sonic Blast, very, very good, or it has Sonic the Hedgehog on the uh, on the, the can. So go ahead and check that out, guys, as well. Big shout out to Brent Shaw, my YouTube partner, as well. And as always, take care, guys.